Right, really quick video because I've just bought these and wanted to share them with you. Um, they were on sale um, and I think it's a clearance sale so they might not be sold like this for too much longer. But um, I'll put a link in the description. So uh, based on a, a company based in the UK so if you're watching this internationally you'll have to find your own equivalent. But these are food containers and those of you that have been following for a while know that I use these food containers for my glaze tests because they're really cheap but these are fractionally cheaper and they can't even get the set of three so you've got one that's a comparable size to that but then some larger ones and the reason that I really like these over anything else I've found so far is they've got the rubber seal that goes around the top which a lot of the good ones do but that makes them airtight where any, any lid that's one piece generally will let air through slowly so things will dry out um, whereas these lids with a separate rubber seal are great uh, but these are very straight sided and it's a nice depth as well and you can get stubby little ones and taller ones with interchangeable lids. The reason I like these so much or anything like this is because of displacement. So if you were glazing something like this tumbler you can fill this up halfway with glaze and then when you plunge that down it'll come all the way up to the top and then having a range of sizes means that if you've got like I do successively smaller tumblers you can pick the right sized pot for each size of tumbler and I think it was three pounds for that set four pounds for this set so like a pound a pot um, but they're just going to be they're going to be ideal for dipping uh, test tumblers in small amounts of glaze and the beauty with this is this would hold 300 ml to the top so 100 ml of glaze which would be approximately 60 grams worth which is not I wouldn't even use like a, a test for me would generally be more than that unless it was um, a lime blend test in which case as I previously mentioned I use these 30 ml bottles I'll link to all of these things um, in the comments but um, having something like that you can displace enough that you only need it to be a fraction full in fact this one could probably even go in the smallest um, but yeah you'd be able to dip with basically no glaze that would displace it all the way to the top so you'd have a full dip test with barely any glaze um, and the straight sided part is really useful because obviously our, our pieces tend to tape in towards the bottom so if you're dipping that way you don't want the container to slip in or you'll either hit fairly high up on it or if you can go all the way to the bottom then obviously there's a lot of space whereas the fact these are straight sided means that you can plunge that down and wherever it reaches the glaze it will start to displace and push the glaze up the side and because it's displacing the majority of the volume um, what will happen is you say you hit the glaze there by the time you've gone that far down the glaze would have gone that far up and you would end up dipping the whole piece in a height of glaze that was nowhere near enough to dip it. So yeah, while you can get your hands on these I would highly recommend getting a few sets um, either just as convenient things to store the glaze in because obviously then you can dip in it or what I will probably do is I'll use the little ones to store glaze and I'll keep the big ones separate so that whenever I've got a glaze that I want to test I can pour it in you know, in which case you don't actually need the sealable lid but um, yeah really convenient and I'd highly recommend finding some equivalent container that's the right shape for the pieces you want to dip straight sided um, and then even better if you can find ones that have that separate seal part to them because then you can they seal really well and you can take them apart to clean them. So I'll link to these. Um, if you can get your hands on some, do. I'm going to buy some more before they sell out. And um, I'm glad I bought these.